supposed to be a, a quickie. I want to do morning quickies with you guys for about maybe a good three to five minutes max. And, you know, just give you guys some inspiration, some encouragement, and some wisdom for the day. So, today I wanted to talk to you about honoring yourself. Hey, guys, let me know you're here. Make sure you share this live. Put your name in the comments. Say what's up and all that other wonderful stuff. If you are new to me, my name is Takiya Diamond, obviously, right? And you know, I am actually a mindset coach. I'm a personal development author. I'm also a book coach. So, you know, if you want to be an author, I have five books out. Trust me, I know. I know the stuff, all right? So, you know, that's what I do. You know, I actually help people transform their lives by changing their way of thinking, by, you know, coming face to face with whatever the fears are that are hindering your success so that we could bang them out knock them down and build up something new because it's all about rebuilding hey sister hey melinda i love you boo Mwah! melinda i got tired of the red i just wanted to try something different <laughs> i didn't even know whether it was going to work on me or not i was just like whatever salute what us what's up mickey mine's up mine's up so Real, real quickly, because I know you guys are on your way to work, and in fact, I got to get my own behind to the office, okay? So, let me just rock out with you guys real quick, and just give you some wisdom, some tools, and some juice to help you get through your day. Alright, so, the first and foremost thing that today's topic was going to be about, just real quick, was about honoring yourself, you know what I mean? Honoring you, honoring, you know, who you are, what your purpose is in life, and just really identifying what it is that you want for yourself. Self, you know, I think it's always great to want to help other people. I think it's awesome to want to see the best come out of other people. But, like, let's be real, guys. You know, if you're not right within yourself, how can you really, really help someone else? You know what I mean? And this is in all areas of your life. I love you, Melinda. <laughs> and all, <coughs> excuse me, guys. <coughs> That's why I've been in my head a little bit. I've been a little under the weather. <coughs> but anyway. Honoring you, you know what I mean? Honoring you, honoring that part of you that has chosen to evolve. Honoring that part of you who has said that, you know, I came here to do a thing. And so, and you know that God came here to do a thing in you. So why not allow yourself to live the life that you deserve? There comes a time when you have to put aside other people's feelings and emotions, okay? And the reason that you got to put aside other people's feelings and emotions, because when you dive into somebody else's feelings and emotions, what ends up happening is you create those feelings and emotions they begin to emerge and surge and all of that stuff from within yourself and it brings up a whole lot of trash it brings up a whole lot of you know past memories past behaviors past trauma past you know just all of this stuff so you know it's so imperative that you honor you i'm not saying that you got to treat people bad i'm not saying that you know you can't have a conversation with somebody about how you feel about whatever that's what you're supposed to do and that is a part of honoring yourself a part of honoring yourself is being true to you you know what i'm saying being true to you being true to your beliefs being true to what you desire for you not everybody is going to be happy with the choices that you make. And so because everybody's not going to be happy with the choices that you make, it does not matter. Like, you can't keep living your life for everybody else's happiness, for their pleasure. You get what I'm saying? You pick up my energy. That's the stuff. Dee Dee, I love you. I miss. Oh, my God. Dee Dee, where are you? Please call me later. Call me later on this evening. I know you're probably on your way to work in the fabulous New York City. But, you know, when you... Um, get off. Give me a holler later on this evening. So I want to tell you guys, you got to honor yourself. It's important for you to honor you. It's cool to go ahead and try to take care of everybody else. But when are you going to step to the plate and put you first? When are you going to write down your decisions? When are you going to say to yourself, like, this is what I desire? And if whoever or whatever is not a fit to the full description that you want to see come forth, then you know what? It's going to hurt. Like, there's, there's nothing in this life that you let go of and it doesn't hurt losing it. It's going to hurt. But guess what? After the pain comes the progress. You get what I'm saying? Like, you cannot experience the progress without understanding that the pain had its purpose. You know what I'm saying? The pain, the pain had its purpose and you are coming to this point in your life where you have to live your purpose which means you have to put aside 
other people's feelings and emotions when it comes to you living your own purpose and keeping your own head on straight and honoring you. You know what I mean? Honoring you and saying that I know what I want. And even though somebody else might want something different, you got to... Okay, respect what it is that they want, but at the end of the day, you have to honor you, okay? You have to honor yourself. You have to honor, you know, what you came here to do. You want to reach uh, financial um, financial prosperity. You want to reach, you know, financial comfortability. You want to reach, you know, this area in your life to where you have unconditional love, where it's not about conditions. Oh, I only love you when you do this, this, that, and that. I'm sorry, I'm good. I'm trying to hang out. <laughs> you know, I only love you when you do this, this, that, and that for me. You know what I mean? And it's so It's so much beyond you being the person to do everything for everybody. And you can't even see your own dreams unfold because you're trying to hold everybody else around you down. Okay? That stuff is toxic and it will hold you down. You have to stop making decisions for yourself, and you have to honor you, all right? And so, I'm going to chop this live up. I'm going to come back tonight, and I'm going to kick it with you guys a little bit more. I realize it's 8 o'clock, and I know you guys are either on the go or got to get ready to go, and I appreciate you guys tuning in with me. Hey, Shy Shy, what's up, cousin? I love you. What's up? Mine's up, baby. You share this live. So, guys, truthfully... With all love and all due respect, it is time for you to honor you, okay? It is time for you to understand that we are walking into a completely different paradigm right now, okay? We are walking into uh, an experience where we literally get to choose what it is that we want to see transpire in our lives. And if you keep focusing on what's not working, you're only going to get more of what's not working. And that is law, okay? That is universal law. That's not Takiya making it up. It's not, you know, oh, I'm trying to bring you into some type of religious place or anything. I'm telling you, this is what it is. And it's not until you it's not until you honor you and you honor who you are, why you're here, and take the necessary steps to do whatever you feel within your heart that you've been called to do, you need to do it. Okay? Alright guys, so I'm out of here. Mind's up. Have a beautiful day. I most definitely, definitely, definitely will be. <laughs> so join me in having an amazing day. Join me in honoring yourself, you know, and honoring myself, you know, and putting yourself first and making a decision that, you know what, I'm going to honor, I, I'm going to iron out my goals. <laughs> What is it that I really do want? You know, what is it that I really want to see transpire for myself and start creating a plan? Now, if you're struggling with the plan, that's what I'm here for. You know you need to holler at your girl. <laughs> All right, so you guys know I'm an author of five books. <laughs> personal development books so all of my books are teaching you how to you know embark in new areas of your life of your life but also understand where you came from you know in the past and understanding that you know how you got there but not only how you got there how to not go back you get what i'm saying how to really you know evolve from within all right um if you feel like you need a coach then holler at your girl i know it's not easy to do it alone trust me i got like four different coaches helping me in different areas why? Because I can't do it all by myself. And guess what? You can't either. All right? So get over the illusion of, yeah, I could do it. No, you can't by yourself. All right? You need to hire somebody who's skilled, who can hold you accountable, and who really, really help you propel forward. And that's what I want to do for you. So you are interested in and you want to work with me as your coach then hit your girl up inbox me you can visit my website to see the different things that i can help you with um i'm also an uh, the, the author's coach i have a program out right now called you are the author you know how they say you are the father you are the author you are the author and this program is incredible so i'm teaching you how to write your book book done how to really iron out exactly what it is that you need to have included in your book you know your outline and all that other stuff and then i also help you with publishing i also help you with um you know formatting your book i also help you with um your co your book cover and just everything you know what i mean <laughs> something that you're interested in and something that you want to do 
let me know, alright? But if you're having some challenges in your life and you really just kind of want to see, you know, why you still feel stuck where you are and, you know, how to get up out of that, then hit me up too. You can actually book a complimentary, a complimentary 20-minute free session with me to see if we're fit and if you really feel like you know I'm the coach for you to help you arrive in your life and help you see the bigger picture all right because it's time to get over the small mindedness all right and you really don't have time for small minded people so with that those are the people that you're hanging around it's time to cut them up all right guys all right so I'm out of here because I gotta get out of here now time is winding down and money got to be made I love money you don't love money I love money and since I love money I I gotta go. Alright? Alright, guys. I love you. Mine's up. Juices. Make sure you visit the site at www.takiyadiamonds.com. Also, if you're interested in my new book, The Power to Profit, which is really teaching you everything about self-mastery. You know, it's a wealth consciousness guide to self-mastery and abundance. Alright? And that book is The Power to Profit. And you can visit my site at www.thepowertoprofit.org. <laughs> Purchase your copy of the book or inbox me. Let me sign it. Let me send it to you. Or whatever it is that you desire. You know, whatever you prefer. All right? So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mind's up. Two says, all in all, honor yourself. Put yourself first. Honor your decisions. Make a decision that you are going to live your best life, not later, but right now. Minds up, y'all. Have a beautiful day.